opioid crisis continues to affect communities all across the country. Now researchers are saying its impact has reached new levels. The use of fentanyl together with stimulants like cocaine and meth is driving what they're calling the fourth wave. And Amelia Young is live at Metro Nashville Public Health this morning, and this really is a concerning new milestone we've reached in this crisis. Yeah, Amy, Ben, it is and just goes to show how common it's becoming for a lot of families to have to experience this kind of thing in their family and just how dangerous fentanyl is because of how many overdose that we're seeing just not even around the country, but here in Nashville alone. Now, so talking about this fourth wave, the first wave began of the rise of prescription opioids starting in the early 2000s, the second by heroin's rise starting around 2010 and the third fentanyl around 2013. Now, now this fourth wave that's happening now 2023 as more people are mixing together fentanyl with other stimulants knowingly and unknowingly. The overdose epidemic has taken a heartbreaking toll right here in Nashville with just one other city in the whole country having a higher overdose death rate. Davidson County's total last year 754 deaths made Nashville the second worst place in the country for overdose deaths. Fentanyl was detected in more than 77 percent of those cases. As for this year, 332 people have died of an overdose in Nashville in the first half of the year alone. The county's overdose death count has gotten higher every year since 2016. However, if the trend continues this year, the numbers may be lower than last year, and that is some slightly good news on the horizon. But researchers say they're still just trying to understand how people are using the drugs because that helps them in turn try to treat them. We told you just this month that Narcan officially available over the counter, so if you know someone that's battling addiction, battling overdoses. It's always good to have that on hand to help save them instead of not having it and having to wait for that help from maybe the fire department.